Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Chess Strategy. Today we're gonna pump up the difficulty level a little bit, because this is not easy. Uh, white is to move here and win. We got no pawns, only light pieces everywhere. And of course, we cannot just simply take this, because it's a stalemate, you see that. So we have to find something else. And I'm not going to say more. You can pause your video now and see if you find out how white is winning this. And when you come back, we go through everything together. Go ahead. All right, here we go. So the first thing we must uh, know about endgames is that two knights against a single king cannot win. It's a draw. So just basically playing something uh, like uh, bishop f5 simply allows black to exchange and this is a draw. You can never win with two uh, knights against the king. The reason behind that you cannot win this is simply because a knight cannot play a tempo move. You cannot come back to the same square. Uh, with an odd number of moves. It always, when you come back, it's going to be even number of moves, like two, four, six, etc. And that's why the king can always go into a corner and be stalemated, something like that. Okay, so white needs to do something here. And we cannot allow black to take our bishop or even exchange. We can exchange a knight for the bishop. That's good because we will win with a bishop and a knight. It's not easy, but it's winnable. So moving this uh, bishop, we cannot take here. We saw that and we cannot move across this dia diagonal because black will just take it. So we need to move the bishop away. And we got two possible squares. And the right move is bishop f7. If we move the bishop to e8, we will lose. We have to play bishop to f7. Okay, and why is that? Because after bishop e8, black will play the aggressive bishop g6. And again, we cannot exchange here because it's two knights and that's a draw. So we have to move our bishop and when we move our bishop somewhere, let's put it on a4, black will take our knight, and this is a draw. We can give a check, uh, forcing black to move his king to one of these two squares. He will go to g6. The bishop will go to c2, and we're now threatening to take this uh, through a discovered check. But here black has a fantastic defense. Check this out. Bishop d1. This is a temporary sacrifice. But if we take, we lose our knight and it's a draw for sure. And if we just move away our bishop, well, the king escapes. And there's no way we're going to win this. So that's why the bishop has to go to f7. Because when black plays the same move, uh, bishop g6, there is a winning move here. We cannot take. We have to allow him to take our knight on h5. But we can go with the bishop to a2. And look at this. He takes our knight. We give the check, as I showed you. Of course, he cannot move away. But that loses the bishop right away, and this is winning for white. Black has to go to g6. And now we play bishop b1. And with the bishop on b1, which can only be reached if you started with bishop f7, then play to a2, and then to b1. Now, black cannot move anywhere and attack this bishop. So, he will lose his bishop. If we move it here, we take it. If we move it here, there's a discovered check. And we take it. Of course, he cannot move his king. We take the bishop right away. 
here. Let's do this garbage check. Perhaps here. And finally, if you place the bishop to d1, what happens here? It's a discovery check as well. And we take the bishop. And white win this. Okay, so I haven't gone through everything. Because it's it's not that easy to see what happens if black now opts not to go with this aggressive line. What if it just tries to... Uh, move his bishop back and forth and see if we can manage to win this. It's not easy, but I'll show you the, the main line. We need to get our king closer, king g4. Black wants to stay here with his king as soon as, as long as possible, so he just keeps moving his uh, bishop back and forth. We give a check on f5 with our knight, and again, I cannot take it. We will take back, and the bishop and knight will win for us. Has to move to h7, follow with our king, blocking this king out. And uh, black goes back to just uh, playing passive moves with his bishop. And now we need to get this knight to f8 with a check. And we start with knight d4 attacking here. He's just moving back. And we play knight to e6. Even if we play differently and had bishop here or something, he cannot take it. It will be a win. So he's just trying to be going back and forward like this. And we get a check down on f8. King is forced to h8, allowing us to claim the, this square h6 with our king. The king cannot go anywhere. But there's no uh, no sacrifice anywhere for black because we are on the dark square. So he will continue to go just back and forth. And we get a knight f4. And then we give a check on g6. As you see, the black king cannot move anywhere. So he is forced to take our knight with his bishop. And now it's mate in one we take back with our knight checkmate in one and we end up in a very pretty pretty position here in the corner okay so if you found this from the beginning congratulations you are a strong player uh, even if you didn't find it i hope you enjoyed this video please press like on it and uh, why not send it to you guys uh, around you and see if they can managed to fix this so welcome back to my channel anytime to look at more cool videos like this have a great day and bye bye